Our next speaker is Michael Houghton uh, from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. And I just want to say that uh, if you look at the rankings in the university, when I'm going to look them up, most of the top schools are military-based. It's a really good thing. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to grab the mic. Yeah, thank you for the introduction. Um, yeah, it's true. So West Point does uh, always do pretty well in the rankings. Um, however, my presentation is a little bit uh, different than the other ones that you've heard so far because West Point right now is not a school that um, Ukrainian citizens can go to right now. But it's my dream to send some Ukrainians to West Point for the first time ever. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in my presentation. Um, so who here has heard of West Point? Has anybody heard of West Point? Okay, a couple. Okay, nice, nice. It's exciting. Uh, is anybody here connected to the military at all? Family connections, yourself served in the military. Who here knows nothing about the military at all? Okay, perfect. So if, uh, that's totally fine. I hope to be able to explain to you guys um, in simple terms like what this is and what we all do. So if you ever have any questions or, or you, don't under, un, you don't understand something that I say, uh, just interrupt me and I'll, uh, I'll answer your questions and hopefully clear things up for you. Um, all right. So plan of the talk is, uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about me to start out. Um, I'll give you kind of the basics of what West Point is uh, and the program there. Uh, and then I'll talk about why international students should go there and the program for international students to go to West Point. Okay, so here is uh, some very old pictures of me. So it's me on the left. I used to be all clean shaven and used to wear a uniform every day. So that was when I was a cadet at West Point. Uh, and then the middle picture is me on graduation day. So on graduation day, you shed uh, your cadet gray uniform and you don the uniform of the active duty military service in which you're gonna serve. So I was selected to serve in the US Marine Corps. So that's me in the uh, Marine Corps uniform in the middle. And then on the far right picture, the really tall, hairy guy in the back is me. So um, I graduated from West Point and, uh, and let, let myself go a little bit. Um, so I'm here on a Fulbright scholarship uh, studying for a year, studying economics and doing some research uh, on my own. So that's uh, my background. OK, so what is West Point? Um, well, according to this guy, Lee Child, West Point is technically a college. So it is a college. It is a place where you get a bachelor's degree um, from an American university. But it's uh, obviously a slightly different program in a lot of ways. So um, just kind of by the numbers for the class of 2019, uh, there were 13,800 applications that were begun. Um, and just over 1,000 of those people were ultimately uh, matriculated into West Point, um, which amounts to an acceptance rate of about 9%. Um, which is only maybe a percent or two higher than Columbia or Harvard. Um, and so our SAT averages uh, right there. But the coolest number on this slide is that um, in the class of 2019, there were 15 international cadets. So we'll get into that a little bit later. But those are people who are from other countries and who come to West Point to study for four years, and then they go back to their home countries to serve in their home countries' militaries. Okay, so what is the West Point program? So this is what day one looks like. So that's a propaganda video, one of three. So get ready. It's going to be awesome. Um, so day one, they shave all your hair off. They give you all of your uniforms and stuff like that. Uh, and they essentially teach you the basics of how to be a soldier, which includes marching, saluting, following commands. Um, and beyond that, you start your, pro your full West Point program. Uh, so there's three areas. There's academic development, military development, and physical development. So your academics. 
So between uh, the months of August and May, West Point is very similar to your average American university in that there we go to sc uh, school every morning at about 7.30, maybe a little bit earlier than most colleges. Um, and we have class every day until about four in the afternoon. And then there's cadet clubs, there's different types of things like that. The bi uh, biggest exception, of course, is that we wear a military looking uniform. Um, but other than that, so the basic academic program is you have uh, 24 basic core education courses, which if you were here for Sophie's talk, the first talk this, uh, this morning, uh, it's very similar to that. It's a liberal arts education. So you learn, you get your philosophy, you get your legal studies, um, you get your engineering, your uh, English composition, uh, your foreign language studies and stuff like that. And so beyond that, each cadet gets to choose their own major. So there's over 40 base majors in 13 academic departments, ranging from uh, English composition to uh, nuclear physics and everything in between. So um, it's a pretty uh, wide program. Uh, so cool, another cool quote is uh, on the far right, it says, at West Point, much of the history we teach was made by the people that we taught. So a lot of very influential people in American history who are written about in history books um, had graduated from West Point. Um, obviously, you have Eisenhower, you know, Grant, MacArthur, some pretty, uh, pretty famous American names. Um, so physical development is the second area of uh, development. Uh, so each cadet is required to play a sport, whether it's a Division I varsity sport a club sport, which is a little less intense, or a intramural sport, which is essentially once or twice per week. Um, we have a ton of Division One sports. Uh, I played, or I did club boxing, so I was a, I, did, I boxed at West Point a little bit, and I played intramural soccer as well. Um, in addition, we also have the Army physical fitness test uh, to ensure that we're within Army fitness standards. Um, and we also have the indoor obstacle course test, which is a three minutes of just pure torture where they, you have to run over obstacles and climb ropes and do all that crazy stuff. Um, and West, or sports are pretty important as what, uh, at West Point. Um, as Dwight Eisenhower said, not making the baseball team at West Point was one of the greatest disappointments of my life, maybe my greatest. So that's the uh, former Supreme Commander in